Today's presentations were, were really centered around uh, you know, three major themes. Um, the first being that PHP is a real contender in today's marketplace, um, especially on IBM I. Uh, for a long time, I think folks in the I community are, are a little slow to adopt new things, a little leery, they're a little cautious, I think we call them conservative. And, uh, and, and now they're really starting to, to really jump into this PHP boat with, uh, with both feet. It's really exciting to see the adoption rate go up, um, the excitement, and I think the attendance at today's event was a good indicator of that. Uh, a lot of people came out who don't normally come out to user group events, which is what I'm seeing across the country, St. Louis, Wisconsin, you know, anywhere you go, you're, you're seeing that kind of stuff. Um, in, in addition to that, you know, one of the things I talked about was how to repurpose workload on your IBM I. In other words, get more stuff to run there because people are, are upgrading their eyes for a variety of reasons. Maybe they want to be compliant on the operating system. Maybe they want to just have new hardware because the, their machine was five or six or seven years old and IBM gave them a really good deal. And they're ending up with a little extra CPW than they, they expected, right? A power seven boxes with a little extra, extra capacity, a little more memory. And, you know, instead of putting out another Windows or Intel or Linux type server to run their company intranet. You know, one of the things we talked about today was actually using an open source content management system like Drupal or Joomla and bringing that to the eye and leveraging that so you don't have yet another server to maintain, another server to manage, um, becomes really attractive to a lot of companies. And I had a couple of people come up to me today and said, you know what, I wasn't thinking about using PHP for that, but that really makes a lot of sense. I'm going to think about that. You know, and, and we've got customers across the board, um, you know, small 520 customers and big 595 customers that are exploring that very point um, to be able to leverage that in a single instance of, of IBM I and a single LPAR becomes really attractive. Um, the other thing that was really interesting, was a lot of people that came today were, were brand new to PHP, but there were a couple of people in the audience who had some PHP experience. And the neat thing was is that the people who are new to PHP have been hearing a lot about object-oriented and frameworks and that kind of stuff. And one of the messages I really wanted to communicate was, you don't have to jump into OO with both feet. You don't have to start with a framework. Right? It's good to play with these things, but you can start in the procedural model of PHP and be productive and it's okay. Um, you want to aspire to certain things, and one of the, th the sneaky things, I stole this from John Paris, is saying from John Paris, he, he likes to say, you know, you're going to learn object-oriented through osmosis when you're working with PHP. We're not going to club you over the head like some other languages do. Um, you know, with PHP, you kind of ease into it. And uh, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about PHP, using it myself. And I see a lot of people joining, joining the ranks to kind of get in that same experience. So. It's been, it's been a lot of fun talking today, and uh, I think folks got a lot out of, of the presentations.